everyone, it's Be Divine and welcome to Divine Miracles channel. Thank you all so much for subscribing and today of course I am doing the Domino Angels um, little card reading for each one of us. So I have a little bit of the sniffles today so if I have to wipe my nose I'm sorry about that. I've um, been doing a lot of out there walking and in nature and running and all kinds of things so I'm either having a good clear out or <laughs> I'm getting some sort of hay fever, but it's okay. I'm persevering. All right, everybody, I'm going to shuffle these little cards and let's see what we get. Okay. All right, everyone, here's the message for the week. And we have got Archangel Uriel and we've got the number six. So obviously the next six days are very, very important for us. Archangel Uriel is with you. It's a time that you may need to face the past and let go of it completely. Something is bugging you and it's not in your best interest to lose sleep over it. You are much stronger than you imagine and have all the power of the universe flowing through you. So now it is the time to change your thought patterns and let it go Try not to listen to mindless gossip right now. Thank you, Archangel Uriel. Light a brown or yellow candle to connect. Okay, so as we know, we're coming into another full moon on the 18th of November. And every time it is building up to a full moon, we have things that we need to let go of and the release happens uh, when the full moon is is in is, is visible, so we build up to all these issues and we have them on our mind, and then we do the releasing. Uh, as you are getting more and more spiritual, you might think that it's going to get easier and easier for you, and it does in some ways. But in other ways, there are nagging things that come up and they come to the surface and uh, you know they're, they're on your mind and as hard as you, it is that you might try to release them some of the old patterns that you've had so some of the ways in which you may have dealt with things in the past are still there and you still want to deal with things in that way and so what Uriel is asking you to do is start to dialogue with yourself and ask yourself why you have these kind of things uh, you know you, why do you have these thoughts where did it stem from what, what is the nature of your anger or hostility? Uh, where is it really coming from? And Archangel Uriel is one of those angels who is what, what is known as a psychologist angel. So he will ask you questions that you need to then answer yourself. I also wanted to point out that with angelic guidance, with spiritual guidance and with anything that you, know, you feel that you are receiving, anything intuitively, it's never actually going to tell you exactly what to do. Um, some people say that my guides have told me to do this or my guides have told me to do that. They actually won't tell you to do it. What they will do is they will ask you, are you happy in that direction? Um, how do you feel about it? These kind of things. And uh, it's up to you to make the decisions in your life. Uh, an angel or a guide is never going to say to you, okay, you're going to be the greatest thing since sliced bread on the earth. You know, you better get ready for it because you're going to be the biggest thing in the world. They won't say that to you because in an essence, that actually limits you as well. So be careful of an egotistical type of guidance that you might be getting. If that's happening, it's actually yourself and your own wishes and your own dreams and um, you know perhaps what you feel you have to do in your life. The angels, and as I said, the angels and the guides will give you encouragement. They will open opportunities for you if you're looking for that. But they will never sit here and say to you, you have to do this or you have to do that. If you are getting guidance like that, I, it's really not right. Perhaps you need to do a lot of clearing and ask again. Uh, the other thing is they won't tell you that you are, like I was saying, that you are going to be number one in the world at what you do. Um, they, won't, they won't tell you that your children are going to be more special than anybody else's children that are born. All children are beautifully special and equal. We are all equal in what we have in our beliefs and, uh, you know, our spiritual journey is all um, the same in a sense because we've all been given all the abilities that we think we might think other people have we've been given these abilities as well we're all on an equal keel it's just who does what with what they've got and who decide who starts to develop themselves more 
um, is bit might be someone that you look up to because they've developed different skills more. It doesn't mean that they're better than you are. And in a way, it's 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 hard to become a spiritual teacher or like I call myself a spiritual guide because I want you guys to be on the same level that I am. I don't want you to feel that, oh, you know, I don't know anything. She knows everything. I don't want you to feel like that. So just be aware of what guidance is coming through for you. Know that it's only gentle reassurance, gentle guidance. Um, you know, if, if you are going to ask the angels, for example, is he my soulmate or something or she or is he my soulmate? They might, might say yes or no or they might say to you most likely, how do you feel about it? What do you really think? They might be putting the question back to you. Uh, because, as I said, the angels and guides don't want to limit you in what you can have in your life and they want you to find your happiness as that is part of your life journey, your life journey being um, lots and lots of directions leading you to the same thing. How you feel about spirituality is up to you. Um, how you whether you talk to the angels or the guides is up to you. Um, but just know that the information that you are getting back, ask yourself, is it really coming from spirit or is it coming from my own aspirations and my own um, will in this situation? Either way, um, like, you know, the, the angels and guides aren't going to say to you, you're doing something wrong either. Um, they, might, they may ask you to wait until you um, can really receive the answer properly and don't make any decisions until you know for sure. Things like this, they're really only just guiding you. They've got your back. They're backing you up in whatever it is that you want to do. Um, and uh, it's sad because some people say, oh, my you know, guides or angels are telling me to do this, and it, they just wouldn't do that. So just be careful and ask Archangel Uriel, work with him. You can call his name three times. If any, any time that you're really wanting to connect, you know, say Archangel Uriel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Uriel and uh, you know say this is Rebecca I'd, I'd really like to know this that and the other thing that you'd really like guidance on and feel the response you may know the response you may hear the response uh, most generally you will feel it intuitively and it will be what do you want to do where do you think you're going you know you're wonderful you're great just how you are it's all um, inspiring guidance so yeah so something is bugging you and uh, it may not be in your best interest to lose sleep over it. It may be someone, it may be some situation or whatever it is. Know that you're coming, okay, it's coming to full moon and I'm going to be able to do a massive release after that. And this is why it's coming up and, uh, you know, ask yourself um, where it's actually stemming from and why it might be coming up. It might be the time of year. You know, this time of year, a lot of people have lost people. Uh, in the United States, they're having Thanksgiving very soon. And, you know, so they might be thinking about the past and the things that have happened and situations that have happened in their family. Um, you know, my brother on the 18th, you know, that was his birthday. And so I'll always be thinking about him. And so then you can't help reminiscing about, you know, the past and what we did when we were younger and now that he's passed away. So... Know that you are much stronger than you imagine and you have all the power of the universe flowing through you. Your own best guide is yourself. Talk to your higher self, which is that part of you that's always in spirit. Talk to the angels and the guides, remembering that they can only give you guidance. They can only, they're not fortune tellers. They can give you guidance. They don't want to limit you in your opportunities in life. They don't want to say, yes, this is the right person uh, for you because you, you may stay attracted to that person when they don't even like you. They'll say, what do you feel about it? What do you think about it? Um, you know, is this helping you in your future? All these kind of things. So perhaps that is something that you can think about. What guidance am I really receiving? Um, you know, is it really coming from the angels and the guides or is it just coming from my own thoughts? Um, those are some of the ways to tell. Um, and, you know, egotistical answer like I, I, I is, is coming from you. So. Here you go, Archangel Uriel is willing to work with any single one of you, especially on your emotions. I have a website about Archangel, well, a web page about Archangel Uriel and also connecting to the angels and how you can do some things yourself, uh, you know, to, to start to feel their presence in your life. If you go to my website uh, and go to the articles page, you'll see tons and tons, excuse me, of information 
for you all on connecting with the angels, what the spirit guides can actually do. Working with the elemental kingdom as well, that's one of my favorite articles that I wrote. Um, you know, working with the elements and working out which one you are attuned to and how you can connect with the elements and uh, on it goes. So there's a whole lot in there also about awakening and again I will mention the website um, for the spiritual community. Uh, someone said I don't advertise it enough and I thought it, I thought I was because it's in every single one of my videos down in the information bar. But I'll tell you guys again, it's www.divinemiracles.ning.com and as I said there's a link down in the information box. That is a spiritual website which is kind of like Facebook and it's run by myself and my husband. Um, we're not always there manning over it every single day. Um, but uh, you know you can write blogs, you can, there's forums, uh, there's birthday clubs. Um, you can send each other little gifts and you know have your own profile and all those kinds of things and it's a, just a spiritual community where you know you can talk about um, whatever it is that you believe in and also if you are on that website and you if someone is bugging you or giving you a hard time or you're getting spammed or something like that please write to the administration and we can delete and get rid of these people that are abusing the system it's not it's not nice um, but you know it has to be done so that you all can feel safe where you are so there you go everybody um, I hope this is coming to you on a very very happy day for you and um, I hope you have a wonderful weekend I'm having my friend Peter come from um, down south in Adelaide and she's coming up for the weekend to go to the market with me <laughs> and so this will be fun and another old friend I'm going to see the following week so it's all, it's all fun and games for me actually at the moment and very, very busy, busy times as we lead up to Christmas and the new year which is going to be so much easier for all of us. So I thank you all for listening and uh, until the next video, it's goodbye from me. Bye everyone.